So here is the plan, guys. What I have is this Group 31 battery tray, this uh, waterproof battery box. All right, I got that from AutoZone. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the product right there. Okay. This is just big enough to run a 4S 9P configuration, right? So four series, which is gonna get us to our 12 volts and then nine parallel links. This box is just big enough to hold that. All right, so it's a little tight. But as you can see, that does fit down in there. So that's what we're gonna be using to build our bank. Now, these, I really like that battery hookup sells these. It gives you just enough space in between your cells and then you don't have to worry about them binding on each other. They come in little individual squares like this. And then they just, these little grooves fit together like so. There we go. Then sometimes you gotta get a hammer to just kind of gently tap those in. And I'll tell you what, these things do not go together as easy as you would think. To build these two trays, one for the bottom, one for the top, it took me, it took me well over an hour. Um, so, but I do think that when the product is done, this really adds a nice touch and gives you some spacing and some support for your bank. So as you can see here, I've got them all laid out on the table. And a good practice to um, just make sure that these cells are all working properly before you go to install them. All right, so I'm using my multimeter and I just go through and I check these. So let's pick this one. Oops, my hand's in the way. 3.25. Three point two nine volts. Okay, so all of these should be reading somewhere around three point two volts. All right, so it's good to go through and check all these before you start. I've already done that, but I just showed you for demonstration. You would want to use a multimeter, something like this, and just make sure that these are all proper, that you didn't get a dead cell by mistake. These are used cells. But you never know, they might send you a dead one. So it's good to just check it before you put everything together and then find out later that you had a cell that wasn't working properly.
Okay guys, let's turn this off. So what we have here now is our positive battery terminal and our negative battery terminal, right? And then it just, the positive runs all the way down, the negative runs all the way down. So we should be now in the 12.8 to 13.2 or so range on our voltage if we did this correctly. So let's just make sure we did it right before we go any further. So positive here, can you guys see that voltmeter? There we go. Positive here, multimeter, excuse me. Negative here. Oh, we're on ohms. Oops, no wonder it's not reading anything. There we go. 13.24. Okay. I want to demonstrate something to you guys too. So each little four series bank here or four, yeah, bank here is run in series, right? So we've got positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So every time you get to a different pole, positive pole, so this one, this one, and this one, you should have a different voltage reading as it climbs up, right? You're gonna be adding the voltage. So let's just see what happens when we check each one of those points. We already know that this one and this one is going to give us 13, right? Oops, okay. What about this one and then one down here? Okay, 9.9, .9, so that's about 3.2 times 3. Now this one should be in the maybe 6.5. Yep, 6.6. .6. And then this one is going to be the same because this just acts as the negative to this single. So this should be 3.2. Yeah. All right, so 3.2 volts, 6.6 .6 volts, pushing 10 volts, and then all the way at the top, 13.24 volts. And then each little four series bank right, is run in parallel. So it's like you have nine of these things. It's like you have nine of these things that are all linked together, right? So that's what the parallel means. Four P, excuse me, four S, four in series, nine parallel, nine in parallel. So that's what that means. That's what that looks like. All right, if it's like a glove. Now I'm gonna have to pull that back out of there to put the balancer on it. I just wanted to see if it fit.